Uh, good afternoon to our wonderful uh, viewers out there. As we always say, it, uh, welcome to this platform called Education for Change program that comes to you straight on Star FM, uh, Star TV um, every Sunday from 12, uh, 11 to 12 uh, here with your host Abubakar and Dabo. But today the platforms look very uh, lucrative because today I have a very wonderful uh, person here, a young, talented, gifted, um, you know, somebody who is very attractive in all angles uh, today i will be uh, giving you uh, him uh, i can i can't describe you but you have to tell me everything about you uh, by the way uh, my name is abubakar a and the host of the program education for change every sunday 11 to 12. Um, my boss a warm welcome to this uh, platform thank you um, what is your beautiful name my name is bakari k baji k which stands for keba baji Wow, I am Bakari Keba Baji. Okay, I'm Bakari. Um, welcome to this uh, wonderful platform today. Um, you are welcome, highly welcome to this platform. Thank you, A.N.Dabo, for welcoming me to this very platform and for inviting me. It definitely pleases me the most. Okay, um, Bakari, we'll go straight to the um, point. Um, Bakari, would you tell us who is Bakari? A brief history of Bakari's educational background. Bakari is a Gambian uh, by citizenship, uh, but, uh, born and brought up in the province, uh, in the Fonyis, Fonyi Bintang specifically. Went to school in Fonyi Bintang from uh, specifically Bintang itself. That's where I attended my primary school education. From there, I went to Kanuma for my upper basic school. From Kanuma, still in Fonyi, I went to Mayok Senior Secondary School. After grade 12, I then proceeded to the Gambia College in 2012. And from there, I proceeded to do my HTC in 2017 to 2019, which I finally completed. And now I am a student of the, an, an ongoing student, International Open University. Okay, and that's a warm, uh, brief history of you. Um, Bakari, I want the general public to know what are the things that you you taking because right now you are a young uh, gambian um, i know a lot of people who knows about you will take your footstep um what are your current situations right now your status your your, your engagement right now what are your uh, engagements like what are you into what are you into what are you into blah you know you know what i'm talking about yes what is ba yes what is bakari engaging right now very well, uh, Bakari, I can say that what I like doing the most is fishing. I think uh, this will be surprising to you to know that I am a fisherman, indeed. Fishing is what pleases me the most. If I am in the river fishing, I feel like not living the riverside. Because the, the more fish I catch, the, impress, uh, the impressive it becomes to me, and that pleases me the most all the time. And uh, secondly, I, I, am, uh, I have occupied different positions at the at the national level and at the institutional level because I was the education minister of the Gambia College Students Union from 2019 towards 2020 and also I was also I am recently as I am speaking to you I am the education minister national union for Gambia students and I am a writer of articles I write my ideas about Africa okay uh, which, which, uh, the most area that impressed me a lot is like you are a student leader and then um, most particularly you are an article writer um, today we i want to focus on that area um Bakari, what exactly motivates you to be an article writer ah uh, and uh, but thank you for that wonderful question because uh, uh this is a question that uh, probably i expected from you uh, for long it has been in me like africa should be liberated and we should be rich why are we the inferior? You understand? This question I always ask myself. And now wherever I have students or wherever I see people, I will tell them about Africa. So one of the very fine days, someone told me, Bakar, you have all these ideas in you. Why can't you start writing? Uh, yeah, and that guy is no other than uh, Mr. Suare in Bintang. Mr. Suare is a teacher who was with me in Bintang. He said, Bakar, why can't you start writing? I said, ah, okay, then I will start. And who will read my writings? He said, you have to... You have to write properly so you attract those that are going to read. So he is the first guy who motivated me to start writing. So from there I started writing about Africa and Pan-Africanism and its concept and way forward for Africa. And I have written so many articles about Africa indeed. Okay, uh, before giving you the platform for you to uh, tell us some of your articles. Um, as a writer, 
does these ideas come from your own mindset or you just um, take it from people's um, write-ups? I do not actually take it from people's right up. At times, it's what I have seen myself, my lifetime experience. You understand what I go through, what I have seen in reality, what uh, prevails. These are some of the things that I do right. And I also, I am uh, a little bit of a historian who have read so many books about uh, history, what our Pan-Africans went through. So this is uh, something that truly motivated me. Later on, I started uh, watching Professor Lumumba and uh, other Pan-Africans and... Uh, very important Pan-Africans indeed. They also inspired me and motivated me to write about Africa. I said, let me also contribute towards the struggle. Okay, um, after all this while, um, do you want to make it a career to be an article writer? Or an article writer? Or you just, just chip in for fun? I definitely want to make it a career because Africa need to know the reality and uh, b the people need to be enlightening on what is happening and uh, these are things that definitely affect us and when uh, one cannot sit back without doing anything one have to do something in Julius Nyerere of Tanzania he said play your part I owe you to play your part so I am also playing my part towards the liberation of Africa towards the development of Africa which I think is very important in the process and I am never going to stop so long I have my life with me Bakari, a bright face, a Gambian uh, who is writing an article, very interesting articles. Um, we will have his articles right away, right, right now. But before we go on with the articles, um, let's stop um, something here. Um, Bakari, um, we are in this uh, month of Ramadan. Um, I'm saying Ramadan Mubarak before coming to you there. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you so, so very much I indeed. I said that earlier, but you know, it just comes to my mind right now. Okay. Um, how many articles have you write? I have written about uh, four to five articles right now, but one is yet to be published. What are the areas that you focus on this article writing? An article I always write about Africa. All my articles yeah, are about Africa. Africa. Yeah. The yes, the first article I wrote is about the division of Africa. The, which uh, the other article I wrote is about Western. Uh, uh, is about. Uh, colonialism and its project you understand colonialism and its project the, i wrote uh, different different articles i wrote different um, articles indeed that, that's that's uh, wonderful but each of um writer every writer there is a write-up that makes you feel comfortable like your favorite which of them is your favorite colonialism and its projects Oh, it's my favorite. Is the content that yeah. makes you favorite? Very well, okay, <laughs> probably. Okay. So, um, Bakari, then uh, what we're gonna do is like, um, do you have them in your mind, or you have them on a paper, or? What I have. You have to say it right now? I have written them myself. You understand. So with that, I have a better understanding of what it is, what they are, or what it entails. What the article definitely entails. Okay. Yes. Bakari, now I'll give you the platform uh, to for, for you to showcase exactly um, what are those. Um, articles and exactly how they looks like in the mental set of human uh, mind for consumption. The last article today that we are, I am discussing with you is about Western education. That is specifically what I am discussing with you because it is something that ruins us in totality. So this is why I came up with the idea of writing about Western education. Okay, we would like to hear from, from you. Yes, that is, I wrote, the article is like Western education, how they introduce Western education, its effect, how, how it has affected us and how it has ruined us. First and foremost, when you look at, uh, ideally, Western education, they said uh, in the process of uh, petition in Africa, that is the process of dividing Africa, they said it, is, it will be very important for us to introduce Western education. Now, this was a meeting that was held among the superpowers of the age, or the uh, colonial masters, the French and then uh, the, the English. So they sat down and said, uh, we need to divide these people, but we want a permanent division in Africa. So, so much so that they can no more unite, they can no longer unite. So they came up, they said, how are we going to divide them permanently? They said, we have to introduce what we call Western education, our own education system. 
Now you can see in the Gambia, they said uh, now uh, the French were colonizing Senegal. They said we're going to teach them French. The Gambians were, uh, the British were in the Gambia. They said we're going to teach them English. So now these are two neighbors. These are very related people. So now when we teach them French, these people have to teach them English. Then uh, they can no longer unite. Look at Guinea. They have to speak Portuguese. So now that division will be there. As much as the Gambia and Senegal, for a typical example here, as much as the Gambia and Senegal want to unite, they cannot unite. As much as Africa want to unite, we cannot unite. Because who will forgo his language? You understand? Now they said, we went for that, they went for that to say, they will take pride in speaking the English language. They will take pride in speaking the French language. And now our local language, we even punish students for speaking our language in school. So this is how disgracing it is for Africans. And this is the permanent division that is laid for Africans, and Africans could not even realize. Now when Africans want to come together to develop one language or to use one language, they may be skeptical, which of the language are we going to use? Use. You will probably say we are going to use Mandinka, you know, it's my favorite. The other guy will say we are going to use Fula. So this is the internal conflict that they have inculcated in us. So as much as the Gambia and Senegal, or as much as we want to unite Africa, we cannot unite Africa because of in the, because of this basis. Because we are speaking different foreign languages and we are taking pride in those languages. Not only that does it affect us, but it went further to be looking at what are they teaching us at school. At the schools, what are we learning when we look at the curriculum, the substance of the curriculum? When they came, as they giving us the knowledge, they're telling us that first and foremost, they said, education is better than silver and gold. So in the process, they were taking our silver, golds, and uh, mineral resources. They were taking all of them. And they give us uh, just uh, minor education. Or, uh, so the education that is not up to standard, that's what they give us. How is it not up to standard? Because look at it. All the vehicles that we have seen, they are from where? You understand? With the education they give us, we cannot uh, even make vehicles. So when we look at the phones that we are having, they are from where? You understand? When you look at the, medi the drugs, when you come to the medical aspect, the drugs, where are they from? You understand? So they are giving us uh, knowledge, uh, knowledge of remembering, but not actually thinking and creating. So creativity is lagging in the process. So, um, so creativity is lagging in the process. Just to cut you, sir. Very well. Huh? We've made mention of, you made mention of language. Language. And um, when the Western people come here, they find it difficult because, like, language barrier was their main issue. And that is why they come with this idea. Oh, you're talking about? Well, when you cannot ex um, ex exchange ideas with me. It is going to be very difficult for us to be in one term. So uh, at that point, I'm a little bit convinced that language could also... Um, be, be, be chip in so that we will be separated for, for the rest of our lives. If Africa could develop its own letter, or if we can all unanimously agree to speak one language, and uh, we learn that in school, you know, I, I want to tell you something. It is not in the interest of the West for us to unite. Because if we unite and know the reality, know, know what is prevailing, then uh, they will not develop. Then they have to come to Africa to work for us. So this is why not only do they want to communicate with us, but definitely they wanted to set a, a permanent border between African nations so that they can no longer unite. When we unite, we will be more powerful. But then, because, uh, they, because of this language, you see, today we and, Se we and Senegal, the Gambia and the Senegal, when we said, let us all speak one language, which language are we going to use? Gambia and Senegal? Yes. An example, I, I guess we can speak Wolof. We can speak Wolof, yes. ideally, but someone somewhere will say, why can't we speak Mandinka? You understand? So this is the problem. And someone somewhere will say, ah, the process will be too long, we cannot, you understand. But we have to start from somewhere to build up a nation. So um, that, might, that might be a very powerful word, that is language confusion in the mindset of Gambians or Africans as well. Um, that point, I think I've, I've concurred with you. Um, you made mention of um, education in, uh, is better than silver and gold. Uh, when I was going to school, I believe in that. So how, how do you think that that has confused or delayed our development or bring separation to African people? But now, why are they interested in the silver and gold that they are taking to the new world? You understand? Why are they interested in the silver and gold? You understand? So they could have give us education and give us our silver and gold, but in turn they took everything. They left us with nothing, absolutely.
So here we are struggling. It is the mineral resources that develops a nation, right? And, and if we have silver and gold, diamond and all other stuff, they need those things. You understand? So in the process uh, for them, for us to develop or for them to develop, they have to take our mineral resources. So as they are teaching us English, as they are teaching us French, as they are teaching us Portuguese, they are taking our mineral resources and telling us, don't mind, don't mind, don't, do not worry. Education is better than silver and gold. So and not only do they give us education, but they, give, they created checkpoints in our minds. Oh, how do they create checkpoints now? Because the, that the, this education system is bought by us and they have to control the movement. Whatever we are going to do, they have to say, no, 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 you have to do this. You understand? You have to do this. Our doctors, you only have to prescribe drugs. But you cannot uh, make drugs. You understand? You cannot discover vaccines. You only have to prescribe. So this is the, what, the typical example I want to give you on what it is. And you Africans, you only have to buy rice from us. Even if we have agriculture PhD holders, yet... Uh, where our Minister of Agriculture, where is the office for the Minister of Agriculture? It's in Banjul. The office would have been in Jahal Pacha, right? From, the, from that story building into the rice field for Africa to develop. With all the education, with all the agriculture PhD holders we are having, we, we could not even have food self-sufficiency for the nation. Is that the kind of education we want for Africa? No, pro probably. Um, just to um, remind the, um, viewers that you are on Star TV, uh, this is a program that comes to you, a weekly program that comes to you every uh, Sunday from 11 to 12. With me, your host, Abu Bakari Inda. But today we have a gentleman here in the studio here with me, um, Bakari Baji, a Pan-Africans, and then also a write-up write -up here in the studio with me here. Uh, Bakari, you made mention of um, agriculture. We say it is the backbone of every nation. Um, what are the factors that are retarding our agriculture? You think? You, you go to school, they teach you what is the definition of agriculture. You understand? You, you, you only know the theory aspect, but not the practical aspect of it. When Africans do not take pride, you see, they, they, they made the office so, so much so important that everybody, every African wants to sit in the office. Not knowing that the office is for those that are extremely lazy. The office is for those that cannot even do the work correctly. So you, as a young and energetic African, you learn about, you learn agriculture, you are an expert in agriculture, but you take no pride in going to the farm for farming. You take no pride in poultry, you understand. You take no pride in uh, producing your own fish spoon. So now the pride that you are taking, the pride of sitting in an office. What will the office give you? Can uh, the office give us food self-sufficiency? No. They have to teach us how to grow rice and not uh, teaching us in class, but teaching us in the rice field. So that uh, the Minister of Agriculture do not only sit in the office, but be in the rice field. You understand? The permanent secretaries, the direct for the Ministry of Agriculture, all have their various offices, and they, do, they should not only have their offices there, but they should every now and then be inspecting the farm. That is what the Minister of Agriculture should be, according to my own personal view, if we want Africa to develop. But as much as we quote for food self-sufficiency, we will never have it. And he who controls uh, your stomachs controls you. And now today, take for example, in my independent speech, I wrote this. I said, if today the West said, we are not going to import our rice to Africa, how will we survive? We will all perish. We will all perish at the end of the day. So this is why Africa, we need to be alerted, we need to wake up, we need to believe that we can make a difference in Africa. And let us work towards it. And definitely, we can definitely make a difference. That is, if we believe in ourselves and we have the, uh, this uh, notion that we have been bull for a long time, we have been buffled for a long time, so we definitely need to take the center stage and then work towards the development of Africa. But it cannot come without us uniting Africans. Okay, um, there you have raised a very, very sleeping agent in human's body right now because there are thousands of people who are watching you right now um, but what they will uh, say is like it's contradicting you see that this guy is telling me that if I don't go to school I can still survive I can still pave my way in this wall um, are you gonna try to say that or? definitely something related to that and uh, something uh, that is uh, very related to that why should a university graduate need someone to employ him without uh, the government employing him he will be complaining why someone who have studied agriculture at the Gambia College, at the end of the day, I have seen many agriculture students are not employed. And at the end of the day, when you study horticulture, you still want the government to employ you. Is this the system of education that we have in Africa? Is this what we want Africans to 
have so that this education that i'm talking about is the education that will earn you your own job the entrepreneurship i'm talking about you understand these are skills you understand you, we need to have skills so that you do not need to go to the west for you to be employed but you need to be in africa for you to earn your living like uh, for instance as I, I gave you an example you could uh, you you can be you can be skillful in one of the areas and you involve into that without expecting the government to employ all of us because the government alone can never do it alone you understand so play your part genius as i quote him because he's my favorite he said play your part i owe you to play your part so the, i wanted this education system that will give us job even if the government is dead or government is not alive that this education that, that will give us jobs but i don't want this western ideology where the west have to create checkpoints in our minds that you have to move in this direction if not the office no other place Okay, um, yet still I'm on that um, platform, on, on that uh, area. Um, should I go to school or I should not go to school to survive? Or else or should I go to school just to read and write and after that I focus on what I have to, what, 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 what should I do to, to be uh, self-employed? Or you are telling me that I should not go to school? You should definitely go to school. Indeed, you what should go to school. I, what level should I stop? You can stop at any level. You can go for a PhD if you want. You can go for your master's if you want. But then let it be a concrete uh, education whereby you are liberated. But you are not dictated how to think. You understand. You are liberated in your thinking. You are liberated with creativity. You understand. Where I mean, you have to be a scientist. You have for how long have we been promoting science and technology? And yet we could not even be. We, we cannot even make a vehicle in the Gambia. We cannot even make uh, mobile phones in the Gambia. So I mean uh, science and technology that we are going to learn that will give us the skills to be producing vehicles, that will give us the skills to be, having, to be producing mobile phones, that will give us the skills to be, pro provide, pro to be having story buildings. Uh, example of it is GTTI, you understand. Look at GTTI, those that are trained at GTTI are a better example of what I'm trying to put across. Because now you are trained, not only trained, but we even want to uh, people that will have that are going to make machines machines for us to have what electric supply you understand so that we can have electric supply we can use sunlight to have electric supply and other things this is what africa needs as of now as of 20 well, first century the world is in but africa is still in the 14th century okay um that's very uh, clear um gdgi you made mention is um a very expensive institution um why not Something to be done on that area whereby the GD, um, before going to that level, you go back to the primary level, teaching kids on how to um, invest in skills, how to be entrepreneurs on their early level, on their early stage in education, um, than struggling with their own life as the Gambian financial background is not strong. Perfect indeed, and that is very sensitive. They are learning integrated studies. And in those days, as we were going to the primary school, they will ask you who is the Minister of Finance. You understand? They will ask you, label the part of a, a tree. You will label the part of a tree, but what is the use of the tree? These are things that we need to start to learn the use of a tree and not labeling the parts of a tree. And uh, who is the Minister of Finance? What does that have to do? What is the to which hill is the tallest hill in the Gambia? These are what we call uh, containers of useless knowledge. This is the kind of knowledge that we don't want today in the 21st century. But we want knowledge that will help us to be creative, knowledge that will help us to think independently as Africans. We need to start it from the grassroots level, from the ECD level, go coming upward, not only at the tertiary institutions. This is the contradiction. This is what is contrary. In the, the effects of uh, Western education in our society, in our system, um, this uh, margin lines that we draw, it is very, very um, um, slim that you can uh, realize what it is said, but when you use your mind and evaluate exactly what we are saying, you see that that is the fact that is going on, and yet there are, there are a lot of uh, changes that has to be on that area so that um, this Gambia will prevail. I think uh, Gambia could be Singapore. Indeed, if uh, we, we, we have uh, that visionary youth, that, that the youth that have a proper vision, you understand, that uh, aspired for Africa and not uh, going to on this bag way, you see, we are using ourselves 
for the white people to enslave us at every given moment. Why should we go willingly to Europe for them to enslave us that when we can still make a difference in Africa? It is us who have to build Africa and no other person. Professor Lumumba said Europe was not built by a group of angels. He said Europe by, was built by Europeans. So we Africans have to be in Africa for us to build Africa as it is. You understand? So we can make a difference in Africa. And uh, when uh, we definitely want to make a difference, we have to start uh, thinking, critical analysis. That we have to start as of now. And then we have to start creativity. We need to see how best we can make uh, vehicles. We need to see how best we can uh, all uh, 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 venture into different field of studies. And then we see what comes out of it. But then study that is productive. Studies where they are not enslaving your mind. Okay, um, as brilliant teacher, uh, very bright faces. Um, when does this, when does this inspiration come to you, um, mind? Because you have been in the classrooms teaching kids, but when do you realize that the the educational system that you are um, um, on has a uh, little fault, and then you come up with, uh, with 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 an article to write on it, to write about it. Ah, uh, when it comes to me, it's like when I, I saw the agriculture students of the Gambia College. After when they finish even as I'm speaking to you, I know some of them that are without employment and they are waiting for the government to employ, me, uh, to employ them. If Nari did not employ them, if the Ministry of Agriculture did not employ them, they have no employment. They only have to go back to their parents and the parents have to feed them at times. So this is the constraint and I, I ask them, you are the agriculturist, you definitely failed the nation. Because you studied a field wherein even if the government did not employ you, you can earn your own living. But then at the end of the day, what comes out, they will just be sitting at home until when they have employment from the government. If they do not have employment from the government, they will continue to sit at home. So the Europeans, why they come up with this idea is that they want to educate us so that we will be serving them and they will be employing us as employees and then we will be working under them and they will enslave us however they want to enslave us. So this office thing, the pride in office, is all about enslaving us. Uh, well, well said. Um, now you can um, talk about your 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 poet, your your your, your article in full length. Because in, in as you are going, I was like um, John because the poet as uh, the the article entails a lot of you know things that we should discuss on. But now I'll just give you the platform to express the ideology of your your article to the general public. Very well. Thank you so very much, A. N. Dabo. Uh, the article, as I said. Africa should unite. The unity of Africa is what is important. I, talk, I, I also talk about Western education and its impact in Africa. So if, we were, no, if this Western education was not introduced to us, then we used to have cottage industries in the Gambia and many other different industries in the Gambia. Wherein at the time we used to have, we used to make our own clothes, you understand. We used to have our own hoes and cutlasses made in the Gambia. But then a moment came, a moment in our history that we could not understand. They interrupted everything with this Western education. So they devaluated everything and told us that. Western education is priority. Western education is number one. But then when we went to the school system, what we were given and what we expected were two different things. What were we given? We were given, uh, we were given topics. So you will sit in the class learning uh, what is science. Science is the systematic studies of nature. And constantly, science is the systematic study of nature. So you wake up at night trying to, trying, definitely trying to memorize that. You try to memorize it at all costs. But at the end of the day, you will not even go to the, you will not interact with the nature, you will not be making research, you will not be picking up soil and then wanting to learn what, what can we make out from this soil? What can we definitely from, grow from this? Why can't you think? And the science, our science, what we have been learning is within the four corners of the class. And when we say science is the systematic study of nature, why can't we interact with nature? Why can't we study nature in reality and come out with solutions to our problem? As I said earlier on, we have many trees in the Gambia. Why do we want the European powers or our colonial masters to discover vaccines for us? And this, this is definitely disheartening for Africa. Why should we wait for them to discover vaccine for us? And even if we are to discover vaccine, it will not be approved by the WHO. 
are we are we are, are we inferior what type of human beings are we you understand we i want us to be those human beings that can discover medicine that can discover drugs that can dis discover different things using the environment interacting with nature this is why as i always draw your attention to plant what can we use the plant for what can you use the different water for you understand as the gambia have fresh water by now we should not talking about we should not be importing rice into the gambia but then we should be exporting rice to a different part of the world they give us they give us granite and they ask us to grow but in it they definitely condition us these are conditions that are laid on us that you have to grow granite but we have to determine the price of the granite so this is what definitely this had in me and i need to come on board and tell this reality to you as uh, on the educational forum because it is your domain so we need to know that this western education is not helping at all well um that is bakari k baji as he uh, made mention of the k stand for something i get the, the k stand for kevasa uh, uh, yes uh, uh, welcome uh, for that uh, wonderful thoughts i know um, um an average mind could evaluate exactly what he said and i always keep saying this don't just take it from a child just take it as it is a positive word and it comes from a positive mind as the the our native language i never call it local language because i'm not a local um a native language said um in wall of purso suriri that is the knowledge so halemuna am knowledge uh we muna am knowledge um bakari i just want to twist these things in in our um in our native language to talk about um the effect of education as you write as your um on your articles the effects of education that is um the what what western education brought um lafaka okay and lafaka coding falinne ka yelamandi kom maninga kang moy la fonanga na la moy lal pour isa longo exactly me mena foka mbari nga longo nal jama bi ji aning na koro mal jama bi ji wala famal ito manta ning towa karamola silola so kulu bi be abe kola la pour ya faham be mena foka bari ning ko development um kan o bele uh, kanyan taji uh, bitung uh, tumu bakar bajeleti um, abijanne on this platform education for change pro program coming kale uh, dimaso dimasi talantan ning kilinga talantan nem fula uh, star fm star tv jannem uh, bitung uh, program ni fanan kana star fm la na wala na jama jama nga fo star fm bari program ni fanan kana star fm le wolam uh, saturday ti wolam uh, tanel uh, um, sibidoti uh talon tanim fula kara talon kelinkan bidung uh, bakar baji atemu multi melan ko safer lalem ay uh, safero uh, ni nyata ka fo ko uh, gambien wala wala afrika bila nyato ta ni la nyantu ak nyanta ka kenyadile ani bari ku kilimbe je bi ay min fo lata ka nyinin ka minna wala na be katala minna wolem tubabul ye nyin karamun to karam min samana wolem tubab karam min ya samana ay mum man torale la samana kan ay mum uh komata le samanang uh, afrika ngol kan uh, pour gaje ko na kambengo setignano ni na nyantol milan ko na haramali ya nyantol setignano uh, bidum bakari mbe mai ko dira ni uh, sare mole kondo ju wala bakari uh, thank you bakari thank you au bakari ndabo pour ye invite ni platform moto nyame ka jibe gambia betal no nyame ani na karango fanna fanna bitano nyame o beti ata bakem kontanta ah uh, ni ajibe bakari mu multi mi yalon ko gambia no le mbota foni le mbota foni bintang and nunta da school to e ka fo me bintang primary school ka bi mbota bintang nunta da kana kanuma opa basic school nga ke wolto wo bebe foni le ko no mbota je nata ta mayo senior secondary school ah okay good 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 nga kill le lombake nga kill le lombake thank you ah nga kill le lombake thank you so very much so after nunta da mayo senior secondary school so ka bi nga mayok banga karande boke sanje kelen den nata ta college so mbe college le nga ptc ke nga bang after nata ta nga htc fananke wato mi nambe ke htc lanke da education ministry of the student union student student on la nyato on koti as the education minister anke da education ministry bare fana after wato ka bim bota je nata nanang nox national union gambia students uh nke da je fana education ministry wo mbe wolto sanje ten wo palaso ni wolbe mbulu so abaka endabo wolen koti mi siya
Okay, uh, buddy, um, science and thing, uh, uh, fitness or coma, minga for go time on your man, see a back, and maybe I'm see how I'm a busty, uh, Basiru Sala, other than well, a camera man or the young, a Basiru make on the back, and be jail, a do good you mining a women kicker. A bit of a um, Ika Safer, okay, a Safer in Bundaning, bit of a Ila Safer Kono, um, what do you want a Safer Kumase? Nasafe Kumase, I'm a me back, maybe one year ago, Nasafe Kumase. Ando nga safari jama leke fana. Okay, um, ila safari kono yalambari iko tumoro bije kasi safari kile safari kasi ya bar safari kile mbije mi alango wale kita mo kontan la keji sulandi mungu safari jumala wote. Ah, colonialism and its project wale mtu ba bolla project wale mi la Afrika jang ha wale safari ni wanyo kontan ni bage colonial ah mtu ba bolla project wale mi la Afrika jang mi alango project wale bukafa wale katara tata tata wati o wati andu ni nete fala fana. Wale wale yangu na kwanza na safari wale bako na. Akumka fale kwa education for change program wale program into multi education for change wale karaniro puru fale niro wale ni kwa ba fale na kake angalia kama kuto ni ba muri na kana amani kaka kuto wale education for change wale karaniro puru fale niro. Abidun ba kadi nse muri na kanga kureke abidun ya atikul do safari wale mindi western education wale tuabu la karaniro njing baringa longo ikafu dulga ba kufu na saran karan wale. Tu bawa karang, tu bawa karang. Bari ubu yang kami agak aku tu bawa karang, tu bawa karang nama sunyar lah. Fu aku boleh apa lupa fu sunyar lah. Aku tu bawa karang nama sunyar lah. Ubu yang ubu alat tenggelam aku tu bawa karang nama sunyar lah. Yang nak pas tinggal aku boleh. Walau karang nama sunyar lah. Ah, abedi ada, abedi ada bag. Because ah, ni mana jamaah sudah fu sunyar aku. Ni karang tafanya mana dua kos aku. Ibe balu lah yang ni fu sunyar aku. Kau tu fana yang tabalu lah ni. Wala na ndefa na ngani Western Education na topi kwenye ngasafe ngasamba na punga kacha jenga long mul finance long mune bekeri nyanta nyanta mune soto la pui isi fumbalundi no. Oro saying a bad time moments ya ndi mila ndi la watu jenga la bage mbele fle dunula la program fungo ni kono rek aya fumole kum ita la safari ro ila hakilo mi mira kum ila mira ndingo ro i muna tina yuo fungo safari anu muna fungo ila fa fumole muna bade ni ba safari ro gala ila fa mole fenne long so fungo fungo ni mbele la ni jamaa fungo ni lafta lafta mole ya longo ni ntu ba ba kavanga yemi samba na ntoli amanto ma ko e bare ana 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 ta manto ba jamale samba na mi ya longo. Doku soto balia, ane fuaria, ane komata. Wale mnyadi, because tu babul kabui bina ya, ilafta kanto Afrika banko ning, kanta lan talang. Sani iben talang talang mnyadi, aje kwa kome Gambia, for example, kome for example, osi dla kanto be West Africa mafungo. Gambia ni Senegal, wale mumo killing wale ati, badingo bading. Gambia no Gambia, badingo soto Senegal, Senegal le Senegal, badingo soto Gambia le. Sani wakang mbinyo nuta la nola nyadi because ni mulsi ata ika ilas ika sembo soto wali nyama watu tu ba bol dakota itol dama tu ba bol dama dakota kome nko faransiel ko ntol be se legalizo karan la faransiel tu ba bol ko ntol se gambia nol british ol ko ntol se gambia nol mbe karan la mune la mbe karan la angale kangola portugis ol ko jini ol ntol be karan la portugis kangola sai nata yao kanga le karani Gambia no la dole ya karani Senegal la so sani ning Gambia ni Senegal kama lafta kila kilinde kinteke no la kilinde muna na kinteke no la kilinde mbe kanga mali use la mo jamaa kwa le nyingi kambi kanga mali use la ni nata kote ke ya jibe nyingi karango nyingi tole kama ming karang mbe karang kani nyau nyau na doctor wal soto na pia dinga professor soto ba re hali kabi na ninga jibe na boaba boka boka Gambia jam muna na tole la boaba boka boka jam ayatra itole e quarenta ali e londo só tem tarefa por professor level, mas é ali que a gente olha boa boa para boa gambia já, muda a tina, no fundo ele fala tem mira no lábang, na do ulo quando na longo, nem 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 o lese mol java no, nem 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 o nanta tala love tano to, nem 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 o nanta que que lá camol pu camol pingu, nanta que lá pingu branco te, pu camol pingu, fundo ele fala tem o que no lábang, mas é ali tem o que no lábang, tu não tu babu lá caran dirinha, e mol caran dirinha me a din a di mol lá nyame, aman betia Ika karang ne, barai kamu ne karang, ika pasol dan malay karang. Kau meng, nyimu jambolti, wal nyimu sulolti, barai sulol dan nafah mumeneti. Ibu kamu le karang di wala, ibu kamu le karang. So ya foye ko science, science muneti, puka dandang wal karang. Barai wal dandang karang untuk ibu kamu karang. Wal na envi, wal kat kayibol karang, ibu kamu kayibol karang. So walat na Afrika ni ndolete tano nyato walat na halika bi mbe motor sana kabu nantu babdu mbe mobile sana sana kabu nantu babdu ba ndolete fana karantale ngalondo sana ba ndolete mobile sana dano la muna atina ndolete fana karantale ba 
nte motol de danola ntol fana karantale bay na mano ndol fango buka seno keno inata ya seno jaw yandi nyako do ya yitandi molla ko officio wala kumma yata wala nyanta fana mol be ye seno bla nata mol be kumbo la kotake e ka mune kumbo e ka kumbo comme en ko man domo rosodo nyanta domo rosodo la mol mol be karang londo be kering bay domo ro masodo sa nim bi 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 tuba bol ko mol ye ko ndol manta na domo ro kila nan atole afrika ndol be kala nyadi na motol ite na afrika banko kan tu ba bol ko ila ni ko ila motol te na afrika banko kan nga ma ni sabe mbe sare to le use la ko ta aha so ni na so ni na problem no de wala ti na afrika is age agriculture minister gambia na agriculture minister al office be min tole abe combo jan agriculture minister ate nya ni nga na ta mbe agriculture minister soto la woto on tol fanam bbb nyanta mano nyanta sen la gambia jan ay dang gambia jan nga nga san gambia jan bay na mano ma nyanta bola na tu ba abdou banko kan nka wala kele nte fanam na lod la nyimu wala ti wala na lafta pour african ol ye nyin kalamta gambia no especially gambia nga kalamta ko ndo lafta fe ngofe na sa soto no gambia nga do ko ke na banko kan mbaren be doko kala nyaade fonga lam fanna bare kaba ngi fanna nga nga foje ko to babul e kan kaba ndimi na wolam e kan kaba ndi pu hachi loy bula fengol yen kaba ndimi na bare bu kan kaba ndi pu nse mi bo soto no pu nse ndol fanga se mi ba no nga 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 fengol bondi mi yalon ko itol ma bondi hani bare tel itol laftale ko itol yemi fonye nga o dam malon itol yemi fonye nga 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 dawo to bare bu kan lafi ndol fanna nga mi ba soto pu nga fengol dada no fanga ye itol mal lafi wala wo manke manke itol la hamoti because ni woketa wati wati isaje itol fana bina ye doko ke jang baye mal lafi wala ye lafta ko ntol ye londo dina londo mi yalon ko londi foring dam malem ni ye londi foring odin nan na jama so do ye na ye ye bible wala ye certificate do dila ya fo ite mu professor di by professor of what professor of only prescribing medicine problem ite ba fo la kar ite be nyin bobal ta bobo nya abota na min to abota non to babdu muna na afrika fo ndol fanan te na bobo da dano la bang ay ay njakal bake for how long thank you sir dia mo sira ah bitun um ku ila dia mo nyin ay dia mo do kuma do hakki hakki do le ko le ko le melangole mo dum an embe school le ga fole ko karan le kuma eta sanoni lulu odi wala am angale ko be mo la education is better than silver and gold um wo kam ne yitani la wo kam ne yitani da wala en ko ka be lafta na diamond ol tala e lafta na banko ko no fengo be tala africa like congo congo e fen jamal le soto sa ay ka be lafta wo bus la mol bulu inata e ko mol le ko ka londo min di ala wala kum mata alla 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 ni fengol na na diamond ol na silver ani na gold wo man kum maya bare ide atala ito lafta wala le lafta wala tala le kati ya lono ni o jama so do afrika bina so la la wala ye o be samba ye o be busin ko do ya samba sanye ye nene ye nyin karan furi ngo dimmo la e malafi ka karan o dimmo la karan mi yalon ka kuma ya ta pun sem fanna fano je iman son ka o dila ye o to ida to dam ma bulu sanye ntol ka kontani mi na wala mi angale ka ngo fo bake ya understand mi ni angale kango fo bake nga contane wala he kabe angale kango mel wala e france kango fo bake he kabe e france kango mo ba ila france france kango moyo ani la angale kango moyo ite mune dada no ite mune keno ite mune keno kato europe bi to ba du bankol kang minu ya sodo sodo je minu minu na minu keta na fulti yodi wala senegal te ni aji afrika jang imaje ye project le land ni ni sa fe ba kala nka fo mi colonialism and it project ibaje la project to ko ye min land wolen ko afrika nyi ibe tawla ka depend on tol kang inene de fan soto la pour fe ngof en tol nga min dada itol ya sang bare fana afrika nol wati yo wati fo ye nyo fa politiko la kola ni aji afrika no bi ndol be nyo fa kam politiko la kola is alon ko soto le manke mira le manke afrika nol me mira no because of tuba bolle na hajilo beti nya a dia mo nyim beti ada karandro nyin a sembo warra bitu nga ba fala le ko a temo wona aman tia ni nyu warro sita diro fora soro sura la kongola tongola anze ala ke dani bari program mo nyim be damen to abe diaring abe diar la to a temo en jam fa wolto a ba kadi am kafe ko be education for education for change platform to amen an ko kana every week bitu nga ba kadi in summary am ni be mil be safero la nibi advice la come in few sentence come safer lal come yango ite ite ñongol ba fa le mu ne fay say be mu advice le di la be mu mbali la jima tuwa bol no advice safer lal mi ngo young riders like what are the advices that you going to give them 
Ah, uh, thank you so very much, eh, Ndabo. Wo kuma ata bake like. Ibe sa fero ke kang sa fero nying amanya na la la fana 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 la sa fero nying isa akata yes sa fero ke from the bottom of your heart kabonang e ah ila 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 juso kumoto because mune keta eka ilafta mule fene kalamda anu tonya di mule kana fani ya di mule wo kuma ata sa fero to bake tonya fu mule kana uli ya fu mule because tonya nying wo se mule nafa na e mule nafa ati kabla itela ite fana mfasi nafa sa ni wala na kuma ata bake pu mule se tonya nying ni eto nyaje ni ma lonno iba futan la mulka nyamen fo ya safe ya safe yeto nya safe yeto nya yitan di mulla andu ni ba safe la kana politiko landije kana ku kote landije bare alandi ni to nya kan ini mansata la tema okay am bidung bakari am safo ko wato bandale ferem 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 muni bele kele ko ko la bonte I thank you so very much for the invitation. I thank the listeners. Special thanks to Mr. Suare, my chief editor. Mr. Mr. Sua Sua. Wow, Sua is if my chief editor. And I thank you so very much, A.N. Dabo and the cameraman. I thank you all for the invitation and everything. Okay, you are welcome. Um, this is your uh, first listening program that comes to you every uh, Sunday from 12 to, uh, from 11 to 12. Uh, don't mind. It's the radio program that comes 12. So um, one that is Saturday. Um, don't uh, miss it and don't uh, miss it. Okay, I'm Barry Mbal, Konton Nambake Mbal, Tintu Lambal, Jayla, Allah Jibiru, Kunyi Mato, Akafale Kual Badi Malem, Abu Gare, Ndabole Balejang, Ani programu ni nak ang jara di marulale mafalale ko momo sponsor soto pro ni programu kama bari mbaka kama pro gamera development waka kama basically educational programs bidung mafalale ko alimbara alsi na asta FM jang alsi programu ni cementu ya bari ning sembo ni mang taraji alsi ko kuri melango asio de jamfala bidung mafalale ko alimbara baka albari malay abogare endabo for watch koreng ala baraka.